I'm building a Lego Star Wars clone army in 24 hours. Now the clone army is one of my favorite armies in all the Star Wars, so I cannot wait to get this challenge going. And one of the reasons why I'm doing this is me and Brickley and many other creators are starting a challenge. We're gonna be building the biggest clone army in history, trying to beat the Guinness World Record of 36,000 troopers. Now, if you wanna know more about our challenge of building the biggest Lego clone army ever, follow Brickley where I'm actually in his newest video where we're gonna be building the biggest army. But without further ado, first we need to start building up our clone army from all these sets I need to build. Now we have all of my phase two clone troopers newly built, that being the Wood 87th and the new File First Specialist clone troopers, as well as the regular File First Battle Packs. And as well as our phase one army from the clone accessory packs, got about a couple of them built and they look so dope in formation, as well as a brand new 2022 ATTE. Absolutely love this guy. Looks super dope and probably one of my favorite ATTEs overall. Really glad I added to the army to be my fourth ATTE. And here are all my clone containers full of a wide variety of different clones from all ages of Lego Star Wars. Now let's put this onto our base plates and present the Grand Army of the Republic. And here we have all of our phase one clone troopers all in formation, looking super clean. One of my favorite, if not my favorite type of clone trooper here. Absolutely love it. Now the first little bit of clones, we have the realistic phase one. And if you jump more into the back, you have the clone war styles of the phase one clone trooper, just the regular ones. And they fill up the first base plate and move on to the next one. Now I wanna do is add all of our phase one clone troopers on this side of the mock, phase two on this side of the mock. But now let's add all of our specialty phase one clone troopers like ARF troopers, bomb squad troopers, and much more right now. Now here are all my phase one specialty troopers. Now to dive in the first part here, we have all of our realistic phase one officers being the commanders up here in the front with the original kind of more accurate yellow commanders right there, as well as the captains, lieutenants in the blue, and behind them in the olive kind of green color, we have the sergeants. Now behind them, we have like our lime green stormtroopers. I forgot the actual name of the legion, let me know down below, but these guys are always super cool to look at with their unique color scheme with more like the neon yellow on them as well. Really love how they look. Super, super dope, uh, unique clone troopers that came out in a battle pack a long time ago. And then behind them, we have our original clone gunners that come in a clone trooper battle pack. Absolutely love them. And then we have our ARF troopers, which is one of my favorite clone trooper designs for sure. Just behind like the Kashi clone troopers. I think those are slightly cooler, but I have some 501st variants here and also the dark red variants that came in in the uh, other battle pack as well. And then behind them, we have our clone pilots. These are custom helmets that are like the other versions of pilots we see later in the Clone Wars and then the regular Clone Wars pilots. And then our bomb squad troopers. We cannot forget all of our bomb squad troopers to take out all the bombs, you know, and you don't really need this many, but I have quite a bit of them. Now to finish off our phase one section, I have all of our commanders and officers. Now I know for sure I have a phase one Cody, but I have, do not know where he is. Maybe I'll find him after I'm done searching through all my clones. We, so we have a phase one Captain Rex here, very iconic, phase one Gree. We have one of the commanders, remind me again what this commander name, he's the commander of all of these guys right here. I'm not quite sure, let me know down below. We also have a commander, I think Commander Blackout, as well as a custom Commander Wolfson that never got the original Lego version, as well as four phase one Wolfpack clone troopers. I love these guys, look so dope. 
and then our two clone commandos, which I definitely think they're more phase one since they came out as well with the phase one clone troopers. And then behind them, we have our arc troopers. Now these are like phase like 1.5, I would say, but I wanted to include them in this phase one wave of our clone troopers. And even behind them, these are the clone troopers that didn't quite fit or are quite yellowed and uh, need to be fixed. So we have all of them kind of in the back needing to be uh, kind of a <laughs> get to cleaning them off or putting them back in the sun to get cleaned up. But yeah, guys, that is all of our phase one clone troopers. Absolutely loved how this turned out, but this is just not even like half the army. Now let's get to our phase two clone troopers. And then after that, let's get to all the vehicles because time's running out for a 24 hour challenge. So as you just saw there, we completed all of our phase two clone troopers. But before we do that, I actually found a lot more of my miscellaneous and more clone troopers to add for the phase one army, like the Commander Cody, Commander Fox, and the first generation phase one clone troopers here in the back. I wanted to show y'all include these in the army. So it is the next day and only have a few hours left to finish the challenge since you see right there, definitely daytime. And here we have our phase two clone army portion and it is just truly incredible. Let's break it down. Now, first of all, I have to say, I love the phase two armor and all the different variants. And in the first little group here, I decided to put our regular phase one kind of grunt troopers in the actual front. Now, most of them are the actual Lego versions. And then some of them actually got my old clone troopers from like the original 2005 ones and added clone army custom helmets to make them kind of more modern now that you can add them in like more mocks and stuff. So I feel like that really adds a cool element of uh, some new kind of phase two clone troopers without actually buying the whole figure. And I also have a kind of 2020 style one there from Grandpa Clone Customs. Really cool figure right there, absolutely love it. And then right here we have five uh, Clone Army Customs 327 clone troopers since I might want to use these in the future. Don't have the commas or anything for them, but definitely cool to have some 327th in like the real realistic phase two armor. Now our next row here is all of our 212 clone troopers. Now probably like one of the pride joys of my collection to, in fact, because it is just so cool. I love the phase two clone troopers being in the 212th armor. I have also have uh, Firestar uh, toy arms on them. So actually, so adding extra detail and value to them. So they just look so epic. And then the final nine to, uh, 212 clone troopers are actually are the newer versions with clone army custom helmets since they are way superior and add just a really cool effect since they're more realistic to episode three. And then we have our 212 clone troopers in the back, again, adding clone army custom helmets to make them more modern. I just added them on to my previous old shock troopers. And then we have our 187th boys here. Gotta love them in the regular phase two clone armor. Really cool, absolutely love that Lego made these unique clone legions. And behind them is the main majority, I guess, of like the phase two clone troopers is our file first clone troopers. Now the majority of them actually do have the uh, custom clone Firestar toy arms, giving them the kind of blue shoulder pads and everything, making them look extra detailed, absolutely love that. And then some of them in the back definitely do not, as you can see there, but super cool figure. Absolutely love the uh, Fire First Clone Troopers that came out in 2020. Now our next Clone Troopers are the original Fire First Clone Troopers that came out in 2013. I have quite a few of them as well. Definitely the less, like I mean, the least favorite version for me, but I have a few of them on that row. And then we get into more of the Fire First Specialist group right here. Uh, I only have a, like four battle packs, so not that much, because I don't really want to get too many since there are specialists nonetheless. Don't need a ton of them. And then we have our 501st Jet Troopers in the back. Super cool. One of my favorite clone minifigures. And just, I love them playing them in Battlefront too. So definitely a W minifigure. And then next we have our just four 332nd Clone Troopers with, again, a custom arms, which add a really nice effect to them. Absolutely love that. And then we have our two different versions of the Clone Gunners. We have three clone gunners that are in the realistic phase two versions. And we have kind of the newer gunners. I actually have two more of these. I gotta figure out where they are. So add two clone army. So add just, so just mental note, I do have two more of those since I have four of the new ATTs. Now the next one is probably the uh, group of clones that I'll be using the most in the future and are my favorite at the moment. 
These are the 34th Elite Core Kashyyyk Clone Troopers. Now, this is these specifically right here are the Ranger uh, Battalion or the Ranger Core, or something like that, whatever they're named in Battlefront 2, but the regular Phase 2 Clone Troopers just with camouflage. Absolutely love the green visor on them. They look so sick. So glad I got quite a few of them when the Battle Pack was coming out in 2014. And then a red course right here for my Kashyyyk Mach, we have all of our Scout Trooper variants. So these are just so cool and I have quite a few of them now since I just got 18 recently, which is quite a tough deal to get nowadays. So absolutely love those guys. We have our Geonosis Phase 2 Clone Troopers, which aren't really canon, but are cool. Nonetheless, we have our Airborne variants here. And then our Airborne's actually merge into our other Airborne Allegiants, which are 187th, and then our 212th Airborne Troopers, which are so, so cool. I just was so shocked when they added those back in 2014. Definitely my favorite version of the Airborne Trooper. And in the back here, we have a wide variety of pilots and older uh, kind of minifigures. Now, the majority of my original kind of Phase 2 Clone Troopers, I actually drew on, unfortunately, so I have like 40 different clone troopers that I have like painted on and stuff back in the day. You can check out my old video where I posted about them, showing off my kind of custom clone trooper army if you want to see them. So I add like another 40 minifigures to this, but I did not want to add them in this army. We have the original Kashi clone trooper, super iconic, and then some recon clone troopers. And then for our commanders for our phase two versions, we have our Commander Cody. Now I gave him a Clone Army Customs version of the helmet since I just think it's so much better. Our phase two Captain Rex, iconic, gotta love him. Glad we're getting him in the uh, new Venator coming out. We got Commander Neo, Commander Gree, two uh, custom uh, Tup and uh, Dogma, I believe, really cool. And then we have two camo uh, airborne troopers. So there is the clone army, but now you can have army without vehicles. Let's add all the vehicles to the table here and get the full Grand Army of the Republic complete. And here you have my full grand army of the Republic with every vehicle, or every large scale vehicle I should say, on the table. I did not include a lot of these swamp speeders or regular speeder bikes, just the big vehicles that Republic would use. This includes four ATTs on here. I actually have the first original 2002 one, but it's kind of under construction right now, so it's not here. And then right here, we have a wide variety of different Sabre tanks that we released down the year. This is the 2017 one. I got three of them. I actually have uh, three of these, but I still need to build the other one. Of This is the latest version. And they have two of the OG ones right here that are much larger and bulkier, but still really nice nonetheless. And then for the gunships, we have a custom one right here from Brick Vault, super cool. And actually, if you wanna use my code TSQUAD15, you can get 15% off any Brick Vault uh, instructions, so just letting y'all know that. And then also have the 2013, 2008, and then the 2003 or 2002 uh, gunship. So all wide variety, four different versions of the gunship. Really hoped they were gonna release a regular gunship with the new uh, kind of summer wave coming out but it looks like they're releasing a Coruscant gunship, so that's an L in my book. Now move on to more of the ground vehicles. We have seven ATAPs. Now two are, now four are the newer versions of them uh, right here in the front, and then we have three of the older versions right here. Absolutely love the ATAP. I don't know why I have so many. I, like, I just kind of like got a lot over the time, but probably has to do with something with me building a giant Kashyyyk mock. And speaking of Kashyyyk Mach, here is the clone turbo tank, the legend itself right here. I got one of them and then one ATOT right here, ready to go and bring all the troops into battle. Oh, and then I have the small little turbo tank boy right there. And then for some more aerial vehicles, we have two uh, Arc 170s and as well as a Republic attack shuttle and two V wings, which you see actually a lot in the new Bad Batch show. And then we have our V19 turret that didn't make the cut for the table. 
So there you have it guys, my clone army that we built in 24 hours. I haven't built this since 2020, so this was definitely a great sight to see. Absolutely love all the new clone troopers I got and seeing them in formation and as well as actually getting all my vehicles on uh, a table all together. Since I've been moving, I haven't been able to get this all in one place, so super, super exciting. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe for more content just like this, and I'll see y'all next time.